Hey YouTube, it's Marita. Welcome to another Chanel Nurse Lounge. And in this edition, we're going to talk about, am I smart enough for nursing school? If you want to hear what I have to say, stay tuned. back. My name is Dr. Marita P. I'm a registered nurse, been a nurse for 17 years. OBGYN, well baby nursery is my specialty. Um, I'm a nurse educator. I work in an HBCU and I'm Dr. Way Prepared. And today we're going to actually talk about, this came up to, with one of my students recently. And so this video is dedicated to that student as well as some of the other ones who've come that I've did advisement this week and said, I don't think I'm smart enough. Am I smart enough for nursing school? And this is going to be probably a short, sweet video, but it's necessary for me to put out for you because of the fact that I don't know why we think, and this is the thing too, the ones who come to me, I hate to say this, but the ones who come to me with this, this particular rhetoric happen to be ethnic minorities. Now, who told us we wasn't smart enough? Is the program challenging? Yes, it is. It is. The program is very challenging. And it's probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Having children is not easy by no means, but it's a different kind of hard. My master's and my doctoral program were equally as hard, but not at the same level degree as nursing school was. And so I'm troubled when I hear my ethnic minority students come to me and say, I don't think I'm smart enough. So I, I have to sit there and have them, we have to have a heart to heart. And I teach at HBCU, so this is very important for people to hear who either you go to an HBCU or you go to a PWI, but you're a minority, um, truly an ethnic minority and as well as minority in the institution because of the fact that it's very few of you. And you see your counterparts doing so apparently well and you feel like you're behind, you're struggling, you don't get it. Why am I struggling like this? Why am I struggling like this? And I want to tell you that sometimes it's by, de by design that you're struggling like this. Design meaning that they had the intent for you to have a harder time in the program by the intent of you not being able to succeed and you have to prove them wrong. And so when I tell you how smart you really are, when I tell you that you were designed to be great, you were destined to be great because you were born. And because your mother and father decided to have you and you had great possibilities and you decided that you wanted to be a nurse, whatever level you wanted to be in, I wanted to encourage you that you have everything that it takes and more to not only meet the expectations of the program, but to also exceed the expectations of that program and even master it. And you can even doctor it just like I did. Um, but don't let your, your, your naysayer say that you cannot do something that you're destined to do because otherwise you wouldn't be here. So I say that with the utmost respect i say that with the with the mindset that you may have to work hard and we as minorities for whatever reason um have to whatever reason that i know that i won't go into in this video is what i'm saying we have to work harder than our counterparts believe it or not and so anybody want to come on here with the negativity and try to tell me of all people that we don't that we don't have to go through things that other people don't have to go through I'm going to call your bluff on that and provide research for you. That's what you need because I won't entertain that type of energy here. Um, you, we have to go through hurdles that our kind of parts don't have to go through. Some of, it's, some of it is systemic. Some of it's intentional. Some of it we do bring upon ourselves. So we have to admit that as well. We have to admit that sometimes we bring things upon ourselves. And if you're not ready to have that conversation, then you're not ready for nursing school. But, or anything else in life, to, truth be told. But some things we bring upon ourselves. But then there are the things that when we make our mistakes, and let me be the first one to tell you how I was not, I'm the one who had that baby um, at the age of 20 when I should be focused on school. I'm the one who did that. So when I say we bring things up on ourselves, these are the kind of things I'm talking about. That I took precaution, mind you. Um, the precautions didn't work, shall I say. And she was destined to be here, and she's 23 now. 
And that's great, but mind you, mind you, she's 23 and she's the reason as to why I am where I am because I changed my focus. God saw something different in me. And then luckily I had instructors along the way who saw something in me that I never saw in myself. And sometimes because of our mentality, our mentality, um, we see things or we, we don't see things in ourselves that other people see in us. I have some students today, today, that they don't see what I see because I've been there, done that. And I see the same things that my instructor saw in me that, of course, I didn't see in myself, that I never knew I could achieve what I could achieve because no one pushed that narrative with us. So I'm here to tell you specifically if any student who don't think they're smart enough, but specifically if you're ethnic, ethnic minority um, or even a man in nursing because men are minorities in nursing, that you have everything it takes to be a nurse. You have to channel that energy. You have to put in the work. And once you put in the work, you study, you stop making excuses, stop making excuses, stop saying, well, I have to read all this stuff. What do you, do you want to be a nurse? Do you not? It's just that simple. Once you put that behind you and say, okay, you know what? I have what it takes. I can do whatever I need to do to get through this program and I will succeed in this program. And no one will stop me. These educators, some of these educators who have it out for me just because of what I look like, because there's no other reason as to why, um, they they can't stop you. Let's keep this in mind. And I've said this in my um, um, I've said this in my um, TikTok. Um, we consider to be Florence Nightingale uh, the mother of modern day nursing, right? Well, Florence was racist. Okay, Florence was racist. So I don't know if you know that or not, but Florence Nightingale was racist and I said what I said. So why aren't we discussing people like Harriet Tubman and her contributions to nursing? Mary Mahoney and her contributions to nursing. C. Cole and her contributions to nursing. Why are we discussing, why aren't we not admitting about the fact that someone like Margaret Sanger, who is um, the founder of uh, Planned Parenthood, uh, why are we not discussing the fact that she strategically placed Planned Parenthoods in certain places? Like where you find your advanced financial payday loan places, where you find your liquor stores, where you find your buy here, pay here's. Yes, the, all the places I named are where? Centrally located typically in your un underserved, impoverished, poverty, hood, ghetto areas. So when I tell you that it's by design as to why you're having a hard time to a certain degree, to a certain degree, I mean it's by design. It was never meant for us to begin with. Margaret, uh, not Margaret, but Florence never wanted minorities in nursing, nor did she ever want men in nursing. So if you think about the fact that Florence never wanted us in nursing, and that is still being played out even today from the Florence Nightingale followers, then you have an understanding as why by design you feel like you're not smart enough. And then let's go ahead and talk about imposter syndrome, which I have another whole video on that, where you feel like you're out of place. We have to stop that. We have to stop that mentality to, to feel like we're out of place and like we don't have a role here to help people in general. So let me express to you the importance of why representation matters, which I've talked about before. Also why we have to have people from um, ethnic backgrounds to serve and take care of the population today because it improves patient outcomes. That is research-based. So the, the more ethnic minorities we have to take care of their own people who look like them, that improves patient outcomes. That is fact. We have to have that. So anybody who wants to come and negate that, show me your research. So when you feel like you're not smart enough, Think about where is that voice coming from? Who told you that? Who told you that? Because you have everything it takes to not only succeed, but I told you excel in these programs. They don't want you to know that. But I'm telling you, you do. And I'm telling you, we have to do something different. So if you're struggling in your programs and you're not understanding concepts, then you need to reach out to those instructors and get the help that you need. If you're still having problems with those programs, reach out to me. I will help you. I will help you understand the concepts. We can zoom. If you're serious about it, though, again, it does, it does, you know, it, I, I do value my time. So I need to know that you're serious about it. So you would have to put down, you know, like a deposit or something like that for me to mentor and me to tutor you. And that's not what this video is about. This is not a plug to get money because I make money on my own. This, the video is simply saying that 
you are paying your educators to educate you, but they're not. Some of them are not. And if that is the case, then you need to come up with a plan in which you are dis you're determined, I'm going to finish this program, I'm going to make it. And if you have a program where there are no ethnic minority representation in your program, that makes it even more difficult for you. Now, does that mean that every person who teaches who happens to be of the other persuasion, does that mean that they have it out for you? Absolutely not. Because my mentor, my mentee, the one who pushed me, my advisor, she was Caucasian and she pushed me to my doctorate degree and found money even for me to get my master's and my uh, bachelor's degree in nursing. So no, everybody does not have it out for you. But I am saying there are Nightingale followers out there that you need to be mindful of. And when we have Nightingale followers um, and they follow the narrative of what Nightingale followed, they don't believe in your your place to be there. And when you do make it there, sometimes they don't even believe in your place to actually rise. They don't believe in the, the fact that you, they're okay with you being there as the LPN is what I mean. They're okay with you being there as the ADN prepared nurse is what I mean. They're even okay with you being there with the bachelor's degree is what I mean. But let you start advancing towards that graduate level, then we have other issues going on and you will see even more hatred from your counterparts, some of them. I'm letting you know you are smart enough. You can make it. You can do whatever you want to do. Take it from me, someone who is a first generation college graduate who has four degrees. I made it and so can you. That is the point of this video. If you happen to need help, definitely reach out. Um, as I said before, if you have a couple of questions, I'm not answering them. But if you want something more long term, let me know. And as usual, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, find, follow me on IG and TikTok if you so choose. Please put your comments down below. If you have any, please comment, share, like, subscribe. And until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.